Hello children. So again, today I have come with a new video for you all. And uh, the topic for today's video is one more natural regions of the world. That is tropical monsoon type climate. In this climate, first of all, two terms are mentioned. Tropical, we all know it very well. That any region that lies in between the two tropics or very close to it, that is called tropical. But when we find monsoon, now, what is the importance of monsoon here? Actually, in this climate, the, the monsoon winds play a very, very important role. Okay, the region where this type of climate is found, especially it is found in the Southeast Asian countries. And uh, the most important one is India itself. India and its neighboring countries especially. Now, these countries especially in india if you see the role of monsoon is so important that in every aspect of our life whether it is agriculture or it is our daily life suppose the economy of our country or you can say the the customs and traditions various uh, festivals all these are somewhere, these are influenced to a great extent by the monsoon winds. Keeping all these things in view, monsoon, the word has been uh, added with the type of climate what we get in India. Okay, Because it highly influences the climate also. And uh, according to the monsoon winds as they reach in Indian subcontinent and they um, suppose the reversal of monsoons or you can say the, the retreat of monsoons and again during winters when the northeast monsoons blow. So the entire year is covered with some or the other uh, season related with monsoons only and that's why we truly call it as a tropical monsoon type climate. Now let's start with it. First of all when we say the uh, location right now location of uh, this tropical monsoon type climate where these the climate is found in which regions now especially when we see the southern Asia right southern and especially southeast Asia in those areas if you will see that area is having this particular type of climate that is called tropical monsoon type climate southeast Asia and uh, especially the northern Australia. These are the regions which get the direct, uh, you can say, uh, influence of uh, the monsoon winds. Now, uh, what about the climate? When we talk about climate, two basic things come under this. I have mentioned this earlier also. Temperature and rainfall, both the things have to be mentioned here. Okay. Now, temperature. In the entire region, what comes under this uh, monsoon type of climate? Um, you can have a look of this region, right, on the map. Orange colored. Orange colored region is entirely having the monsoon type of climate. Tropical monsoon type climate, right? So, in this entire region, the temperature conditions, especially in the coastal areas when we see, it is around 27 to 30 degrees. Okay, it, it remains within that. And when we move towards the interior parts, away from the coast, you will find the temperature goes higher. That is 35, 38, even 40, 45 degrees it crosses. So that is the, the temperature condition of the entire region what comes under the tropical monsoon type climate. Okay, and in certain areas you will find it even reaches to 45 to um, a few places having 50 degree also. So these are basically away from the influence of sea. The places which have got such a high temperature condition, those places are lying away from the influence of the sea breeze and land breeze. So that's why I'm telling you in the interior parts, right? In the interior parts, the temperature conditions go very high. But if we take the coastal areas, in the coastal areas, it remains still 30 or at the most 30 to 33 degrees. Okay, 27 to 30 to 33. That is the limit. Okay, now this is about the temperature condition. And 
uh, especially during summers right now what about the winters winters are cool winters okay and again the coastal areas have got comparatively uh, you can say it's uh, the temperature variation is not much during winters also it goes around 20 to 25 degrees rarely it happens that it goes below 20 and when we move towards the interior parts you will find the temperature becomes very low okay because again once again i am telling you because the interior parts are away from the influence of or the oceanic effect clear so because of the the distance from the sea or you can say the influence of sea and land breeze is not seen in the interior parts this is the reason the temperatures go very high in the interiors during the summers and during winters the temperatures go very low that means the winters are cold enough in the interior parts of the monsoon type climate now what about rainfall this is about the the different uh, temperature conditions right now when we say rainfall annual rainfall especially it varies from 75 centimeters where it is received less to 200 centimeters or 250 centimeters or in the uh, some parts of um, uh, India, northeastern parts of India and especially the southeastern um, countries of uh, Asia, the rainfall received is quite high. Okay, It many times crosses 250 centimeters. So the main thing is the type of vegetation. Again, the next thing what we are going to discuss. But here the rainfall basically what we are talking of 75 centimeter to 250 centimeter is the maximum area is getting the rainfall within this range. Now uh, what about the seasons? All the three seasons are actually experienced here. All the three seasons, very clear seasons that is number one is the hot summers. Okay, hot summers are especially you can say the, the end of the summers are the beginning of the uh, monsoon season or the rainy season right so summers are at the end of the summers you'll find the uh, uh, the rainfall comes and that rainfall is mainly because of the monsoon winds and the rainy season is basically when the monsoon covers the entire subcontinent or this entire area southeastern uh, asian countries right so this entire area is under the um, impact of uh, the monsoon winds, southwest monsoon winds and these winds because these are onshore winds right they come from the sea or the ocean bodies towards the land area so they cause heavy rainfalls in maximum part of this region which comes under this uh, type of climate so this is the rainy season till you can say the end of September the entire area gets rainfall by this and as the September ends and the first week of October you can say after that it is the reversal of monsoons or you can say the, the retreating of monsoons clear now retreating of monsoon is actually October November months and we feel that the it's uh, still October is too hot right because this the impact of summer is still there and moreover the moisture is too much in the atmosphere because of recent rainfall which was received so october november months mainly these are the months when we experience a typical type of condition that is called as october heat which is again related with uh, monsoon conditions right the monsoon winds when they reach they cause rainfall when they retreat that creates the october heat okay this is we are talking of the october heat october november right now as this ends there begins the winter season now during winters again such conditions are created that the uh, high pressure is developed over the land area and the low pressure over the sea or the ocean bodies so the winds start blowing from the land towards the sea now during winters these uh, monsoon winds they blow from the continent towards the oceans right and they follow uh, they take the direction of northeast that is they they come from the northeast as they come from the land area so they are also called as offshore winds right and these winds are totally dry winds 
except a few cases where they cross over any uh, ocean a part of ocean or any pa uh, a part of sea there they get some moisture and they cause rainfall in the land areas which come in their way like one of the best examples i can give you in the case of indian subcontinent the northeast monsoon winds they don't cause any rainfall anywhere but when they cross over the bay of bengal region right let me show you with the help of map uh, the northeast monsoons are the winds which blow from land towards the sea okay from land towards sea that is from the northeast direction towards southwest clear now as these winds cross over this bay of bengal this is bay of bengal region right now as these winds cross the bay of bengal region they get some moisture from there and they cause rainfall over the tamil nadu coast you can say the coromandel coast so this is the uh, thing what happens during the northeast monsoons and this is also called as northeast monsoon season or the winter season it is generally all over it is dry season right except a few uh, places where the influence of uh, the northeast monsoon can be seen rest um, um, uh, after getting some moisture it causes rainfall rest of the other areas are not getting any rains and besides this one more area is there the north uh, western part of india but it is again out of the influence of monsoons right northwestern extreme northwestern parts of india is under the influence of during winters it is under the influence of the western um, disturbances right the cyclonic winds which originate in the mediterranean sea and they move towards india right they cause a little rainfall in the northwestern parts of india that is the only source of rainfall during winters so basically if we take only monsoons monsoons don't cause rainfall anywhere in the winter season so winters are mostly dry okay summers are wet so this is one thing acha besides this one more thing is there when uh, we say suppose um, uh, regarding the natural vegetation okay you can see here coastal areas or especially the the regions which are uh, getting heavy rainfalls right heavy rainfalls means the region which get 200 250 cm or more than that right a few regions are getting even more than that so those areas especially are uh, covered with the tropical evergreen forest which uh, develops in the the regions where rainfall is above 200 cm now below that if in any other region you will find in the rest of the part of this uh, region which gets the tropical monsoon type climate if the rainfall is less than 200 cm that entire area has got the natural vegetation of tropical deciduous type okay tropical deciduous tropical deciduous means this is a forest which is uh, during a particular dry season when we are not having any rains during that dry season they shed their leaves okay so that they can survive that long drought season this is the type of vegetation we find here okay now uh, if we uh, talk about the main uh, the type of trees which are found here especially the teak sal sesam okay these are the main trees neem then uh, these are the main trees which are found all over india in large number or in the, the the entire region which is under this climate now human adaptations in the entire part of uh, this you can say the south eastern asia right indian subcontinent or the uh, the myanmar then southern china cambodia laos thailand vietnam these all countries are coming under the influence of tropical monsoon type climate including philippines and all right then if we take these areas and we compare you will find the human adaptations basically in all these areas because these areas uh, have got such a, a good climate actually good climate in the sense that for agriculture purpose uh this climate is quite good right most of the crops grow very well in this type of climatic conditions okay and this is the reason maximum part of the area which comes under this climate 
agriculture is the main occupation of the people agriculture is the main occupation moreover you will find the uh, the land is every time it is covered with some or the other crop right suppose once one uh, crop has been harvested after that immediately the other crop is sown right so some or the other crop is always there on the field so that is why it is said that it is a very good type of climate especially for agriculture besides the you can say the the uh, major food crops which are grown are rice wheat maize barley millets grams okay pulses all these are grown here along with that if we talk about the cash crops cash crops are mainly the sugar cane then uh, cotton in certain areas then tea cultivation is done on the uh, hilly and mountainous regions so these are and along with that in those areas where we get heavy rainfall very heavy rainfall and the moist climate moist uh, conditions comparatively so there you will find the spices and rubber cultivation is done in those uh, regions so this is about the uh, tropical monsoon type climate now you can see the region in the map very clearly which areas come under this category you can see the uh, indian subcontinent a major part of indian subcontinent is there right besides this uh, bangladesh then sri lanka myanmar right southern china cambodia laos thailand then vietnam islands of henan taiwan and philippines then after this the northern parts of the, the extreme northern parts of australia right so all these areas come under the tropical monsoon type climate i hope this much is uh, very clear to you all basically it has got the name after the tropical conditions being uh, within the tropics and monsoon influence that's why it has got a typical name that is tropical monsoon type climate so that's all children now once i leave before that i want to remind you all uh, to share the link of this video with your friends and classmates and also subscribe the channel okay and when you subscribe the channel please press the bell icon to get the notifications regarding any new video if it is uploaded on the uh, channel okay so we'll meet again soon in the next video till then bye